Right, obviously it's raining. Like I like forecast it's to rain all all day, all weekend actually. And then next week it's to be really really nice. So that's typical. Anyway, I'm going to get this guy Scott. <laughs> nah, seriously, Detector Scott, he has got a channel, I think he's got one video, one six minute six minute video on it. <laughs> I'm going to pick him up, right, and then we're just gonna wrap our pointers and detectors up in plastic. Wrap ourselves up in plastic and just get on with it. It's not it's it's doable just now. It's not it's just showers, it's that's nothing. It's when the torrential rain comes that we might have to uh, I don't know, hide in the woods or something. Actually I better slow down. Somebody told me I drive too fast, so uh, I'll I'll slow down a little bit for you. Be a safe driver. Uh, there's nothing else to say anyway. I'll, I'll see you when, when when we've met up and we're at the field. I just really, really hope he doesn't find anything good. Although to be fair, I've had my shot at it. Alright, so I'll see you later when, when I've picked this guy up. Right, well I messed that up. I, I drove as if I was going straight to the metal detecting place. I completely forgot about picking Scott up. So he's about three miles away now. And I'm to be there in three minutes. So can I do a mile a minute? <laughs> nah, he said he was going to be a little bit late anyway. So it should be all right. But yeah, I just went into autopilot and just went straight to the detecting place. I need to pick him up for the park and ride. Right, okay. There we go. There's the first mistake. Right, well, he is late. I was hoping this place would be dead so that he could spot me easily, but it's absolutely heaving, so he'll just have to get out and wander around. Uh, also, James, all the best. Hope you're having a, you know, hope, hope it was all right. Hope you're having a good enough day anyway. Right, there's no point chatting away. I'll just wait for this boy. Right, we've uh, had to hide into the woods because the rain is so heavy. Uh, and what we might do is just detect a spot in the woods that I know. Uh, and when the rain dies down, we'll go into that pasture. I mean, to be honest, it sounds like it's dying down already. Eh? Kind of. No. Maybe. It's, 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 it's absolutely pouring down. Look at that. So uh, I'll come back to you once we're digging. This is Detector Scott, by the way. There's the back of him. Right, first signal is a shotgun back and it is absolutely pouring down. So we're in the woods. So there you go. Second signal, an even larger shotgun case. And I have to hide under this big, I think it's a willow tree just to fill them. Because my phone gets that wet, you can't use the, the swipe screen. Every time I use it, I have to dry it off on my inside t-shirt. Oh man, when this rain goes off, we're going straight into the field, which is just, just over there. Jesus, okay, right. Next signal is either a fence post or a Roman dagger. I'm going with a fence post this time, considering I found it right next to a fence. Oh, I really hope this rain goes off soon so we can get into that pasture. Anyway, there we go. Detector Scott got a 22 shell and a shotgun shell, and I think that's it so far, but we've we've not been here long. I can't actually believe it, but look what Scott's just found. He's just found gold. Gold in woods. Look at that. <laughs> gold bar. <laughs> so here are my finds so far. Three shotties, three shotgun backs, and a, a piece of iron. And we're going up further further up the woods, closer to where the 17th century gate posts are and then uh, once we've done that we're going into the pasture regardless of how wet it is skin's waterproof anyway isn't it? and we're already our clothes are already completely screwed I can't even see the screen on my detector so I can't tell if it's 2 inches or, or 8 inches my pro pointer's in here wrecked 
anyway, that's that's the plan. Right, we're big and we're hard, so we're just going to do the pasture. That's what we came here for, that's what we're going to do. Uh, and also the rain's died down a little bit. So uh, make hay while the rain stays away or something like that. Right, let's go for it. I'm going to hide over here because it's the only dry part in the, in the entire country. And I just found this. It looks really, looks interesting, looks old but I could not tell you what it is. I was wondering, part of a barrel of a, a rifle or a, a cannon, but <laughs> I don't know. And there's no chance of cleaning it up here, so I'll clean that up when I get home and, and show you. No doubt Simon already knows exactly what that is. Interesting. God, it is disgusting. Even the cows are hiding behind the trees today. Absolutely disgusting. Well, I, I can't tell you how much fun it was digging that out. Honestly, words, uh, there are no words to describe how much fun I had. I'm speechless with joy. Oh man. Right, that sounds like two really good signals to me right next to a cow skite. Small and coinish, so it could be a coin spill. Let's see. Right, that's what it was, and it looks well. Scott suggested a pot hanger, and that's what it looks like a really old pot hanger, maybe. Maybe folk were camping here, maybe troops were camping here. Could be wrong, it could be something totally different. Just found this which I think is the end of an old spoon. It might clean up a bit better, it looks like there's nice a nice pattern around it, but you'll have to wait till I get home for that. Oh Jesus. Uh, Scott is Scott's down there somewhere. We're going to do that bit, that field, over the fence. Whew, someday. A few finds, this cylinder shaped thing, looks like it's off a piece of machinery. This really old bolt. And this really old block of iron. And yes, it's still absolutely pissing down. What you got? Musket ball. Another bolt. Oh, another. He got another bolt. Right, we've got a wee friend for last time just staring at me still. And the bull sort of just keeping them all away. I'm not sure if Scott knows that bulls can easily go through fences if they really want to. <laughs> Hold on, let me zoom out. They're all coming back, <laughs> look! <laughs> is this... One of the black ones is... Really wants to be my pal. And I think the bull's getting a bit jealous that... They're giving us attention. We'll all be getting served up at McDonald's in a few weeks anyway. <laughs> right, four hours in, the rain's kinda settled down and this these are these are my finds, so we've got this, which I think is a pot hanger thing. This I'm not sure about this which I think is a spoon handle, a hot rock, which is always fun to dig in the pouring rain. A bottle top, a piece of lead, so, uh, something that could be the end of a dagger or a knife, we'll just go with that. An old nail, uh, a rivet, another piece of lead, this thing that I dug the biggest hole in the planet for. Oh god, here we go again. And then this piece of lead, now the guy yesterday has 
made me doubt myself if that's a lead token or is it a rivet from a fence. There's no writing on it, so I'm not sure. And that's it for four hours in the absolute smashing down rain. Every fibre of everything is wet. Scott, have you got anything worth showing? Scott's found absolutely nothing worth showing. What a shame. Shotgun cartridges. Shotgun cartridges, aye. Right, anyway, aye. Gonna have some lunch. God. Scott's finally found something. <laughs> Look at that, the wee frog. <laughs> if you open your hand, it might not jump out. He <laughs> <laughs> was tied out, that was a baby. Nah, there he's there. Oh. Some? Yeah, there we go. Let him chill. There you go. Oh. <laughs> I'll just let go. <laughs> That's probably the best thing you've found today. <laughs> well done. Oh, there he's there. Hello, pal. That's it, I'm not gonna stress you. You don't you don't want to be lifted twelve feet off the ground, do you? <laughs> and then dropped. <laughs> Scott's finally finally found something. It's probably the best thing of the day. Where's the date? Nineteen sixteen it's the date's nineteen sixteen. Really hard to see. Really hard to see, in fact, it's hard to see anything. That's a nice self. It, it's night. Nice, uh, oh, I see it now. It's going across, and then there's a three. Right. Hold on. What's the best way to autofocus? Uh, Pull it out. Thanks. <laughs> eh? I think so. Okay. No, they're never going to see it. Oh. I'll take a picture, it says 1913 and a 3 on it. Well done. Decent, probably the best find of the day, to be honest. Was that a frog? Certainly your best find of the day. <laughs> Aye, that frog was a good luck. Can you see it? Maybe... Uh, maybe King Edward. George. King George. George V, I think. Next time we come out in weather like this, we're bringing a towel to clean the phones and other stuff. That's something we've learned. My little pal's just, just watching me, just right there. That one black cow follows me every day I'm here. And just stares at me. It's really weird. Right, so, aye, well done. Just lying there looking at me. Uh, that's us done. We've been here five hours. It's finally just stopped raining as we decide to leave. So we've been here five hours, and I'd say Scott's coin, 1913 three pence, was the best find. I'm pleased with the pot hanger. The pot hanger, and I think, yeah, that's about all I found. So. Wow, what a day. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, good fun. Right, here are the things slightly drier. The spoon handle would have been nice in its time, I'm sure. I don't think it's silver or anything like that. Uh, this, I'm guessing, is the bottom of a fire guard, perhaps. Or the barrel of a cannon. It certainly looks old anyway. Green everywhere. Heavy. And this. Um, a pot hanger. Could be wrong. In fact it was Scott that said that. So if it's not a pot hanger. Um, it was Scott that was wrong. Not me. And then this is a piece of lead, the lead disc that I found today, which I, I thought was pretty cool. And then this is the thing that somebody said 
isn't an ancient lead disc, but is actually used on the railway lines to crimp the fences together or something like that. And they they look fairly similar. This one has a bit on the back that seems to have... This one seems to have been like rolled into a loop and then sealed at the back. I'm not sure what this one's had done to it, but they're similar, similar sizes and stuff. And honestly, that was it. The rest of the stuff I dug was complete iron... Iron. It was just iron. Um, I've never been so wet in my life. But it was a good fun day. Scott got Scott got two coins and I only filmed one. I must have forgot to push record on the second coin. It wasn't deliberate, Scott. <laughs> it wasn't deliberate sabotage. I, I'll admit, you got two coins. The second one was trash. We don't know what it was. The first one was a 1916 three pence, I think. So the field is still giving up interesting stuff. I'll be back there on a nicer day for sure. Right, thanks for watching. Can't remember if I've mentioned it already. I've probably mentioned it in three videos now, but this is medieval. The thing that I, w I thought was a fairly modern horse, but as medieval, it is ancient. That is the best thing I've ever found. I just thought I'd add that in again. I might add it in every single video. Right, there we go. Cheers.